it is me and my tea. And as we can see, it is time for another Owl Crate unboxing. Woo -woo. And this month's theme is If the Fates Allow. And somehow Christmas songs will have to stay out of my set head somehow as I open this box because when I saw the theme, I was like, oh, Christmas. No, mythology fates, not Christmas song fates. So hopefully I can get through this box without humming any more Christmas songs. So with that being said, let us open it with our trusty pocket knife, shall we? If you are unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really awesome monthly subscription box. Every month you get a brand new book signed by the author and a bunch of fun bookish goodies that are usually um, around the same lines of the theme. So let's ooh, open it. This is the more taller uh, box. They have two ones a bit wider and shorter, and this one is the taller and narrower box. Ooh, so there we go. That's what we look like on the inside. We have, as River Song would say, our spoilers, our nice little spoiler card, and the fabulous, the wonderful, the Pepper Wormies that Pippi and Rory will absolutely love to strewn all over the house and, and every single room. Alrighty, okay, so first thing I see is our treasured tomes pin. And this one will be inspired by the uh, Raven Cycle or Circle, the Raven Cycle. And so this is six of 12. And I'm really hoping in this box there will be a pin banner because so far we've had all these wonderful pins and no pin banner. Ooh, one moment, please. Sorry about that. Again, it happened in my wizarding trunk video, I think, last time. It's something about filming. They know when I'm getting ready to record and the telemarketers just decide to call the phone. Anyway, let's see our treasure tome pin. Ooh, okay, that looks beautiful. And let's see what's on the inside. What do you think? Does that look interesting? Ooh, interesting. It's almost like a little scrapbook. Very cool. I love the front. That cover looks absolutely gorgeous. And it is designed by No One Designs. They do a very good job. Okay, next. Ooh, we have something in mythology packaging. Ooh, ooh, I just did a spoiler for myself. So this item is going to be inspired by the Song of Achilles. And if I can get it out. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so it is a hand mirror. Hello, there's me. And it says, I would know him in death at the end of the world. And then here is the back. Very beautifully done. Um, really good quality image on the back. When you look really up close at it, you don't see any like um, distortion or pixelation. So really a good quality print right there. Very nice. Just the right size to do like makeup and stuff. Or just look absolutely amazing on the desk. Okay, next we have something in a velvety bag. And it says, the sea does not like to be retained. Very pretty. And let's see what is on the inside. Ooh, what do we have? Ooh, is this our Percy Jackson item? Yes! Okay, so here is a really beautiful necklace. On one side we have a gorgeous owl representing I think it would be like Annabeth or Athena. And then on this side we have the waves and Percy's sword riptide. So that is really beautiful. Very nice enamel work. I would personally wear it um, the owl side out because I love owls. And so it says, inspired by the Percy Jackson series, this enamel pendant necklace references our favorite demigod duo, Percy and Annabeth. You will find Percy's sword riptide on one side and Athena's owl on the other. Very cool. Very beautiful. I love this. I cannot wait to wear that owl side out. Doo -doo -doo. 
How are we enjoying the box so far? Is it good? I'm enjoying it. Okay, next, another nicely designed box. And it says, uh, keep your wooden tables and halls safe from wayward burns with this, ooh, ceramic trivet. Now that is something I don't think I've, we've had bowl holders, but we haven't had any like trivets. That's nice. Ooh, so it has a cork back with the Owl Crate logo on the back. Ooh, and we have a Neil Gaiman quote. It says, that's the joy of myths. Read the stories, then make them your own. That is so true. I love that. I don't know about you, but like whenever I'm reading a book, especially one that has a female main character that has brown hair, I like to imagine that it is me. Or sometimes I will even change blonde haired female main characters into brunettes just so that they can be me. <laughs> Alrighty, next. Ooh, okay, this is heavy. Okay, so lovely little bag right there. Has horses and sea. Is this Scorpio race themed? It is really, really heavy. What is this? Is this a picnic blanket? Oh, cool. From the sea to the sea picnic blanket. And it is inspired by the Scorpio races. It is really, really pretty. It has horses and sea and stuff on it. So on one side, it's really pretty. And then on the back, it's very durable, smooth material on the back so that if you're in grass or on the sand, nothing is going to get through there. This is going to be super handy, especially now that it's summer and it's time for travel and fun stuff. Although now it's kind of like in the way, I need to just set it there and hope nothing else falls. But that is super cool, very clever. I absolutely love that. Let's see, it's getting to the, ooh, that is interesting. Okay, we have, it looks like our final items down here in the bottom, so. One moment, please. Okay. We are back. It was yet another phone call. So, it is time for our book. But before I do say that, I just want to say a big shout out to my channel member, Penny, who has joined my channel and is helping support me in all my shenanigans and book reading and tea unboxings and also Hollow Taco videos. Yes. There is a Hollow Taco video coming very soon. And also, if you want to help support my channel, there is a button down below. There are three different kind, three different options, and each one of them helps me greatly. And you will get a shout out in my videos, or you will have a shout out down in the description box down below. So that being said, it is now time for this month's box, with this month's book, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's so unique. It is the threads that threads that bind, and it is stunning. It has a clear dust jacket. We have holographic foiling, and it is so beautiful. And there is the back. It says, "Feel feel your fear and keep going anyway." And it is just so so stunning. Ooh, and we have exclusive end pages beautiful look at that holographic shift so stunning um the only thing i do have to say is it's like every other owl crate book is wrapped in a protective clear film and this is the first time that it's not wrapped and so just in the shipping process the back cover is like scratched up from it going like this on the bottom of the box so I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but it's the back of the book, so I guess it's fine. But we also have a letter from the author right here, and we also also have the author's signature, which is very, very nice. And, shoot, where'd it go? Oh yes, there it is. Spoiler card. So let's see what our book has to say for itself. 
So this book is inspired by Greek mythology. We are introduced to our heroine, Io, who is a descendant of the Greek fates and is able to cut people's threads. She spends her time doing detective work that escalates once she's thrown into a murder mystery, all the while grappling with the fact that she has to work with Eddie, a person she shares a soulmate fate thread with since before they had even met. Ooh, so this sounds like it's going to be a very fast-paced Greek mythology mystery. So that sounds absolutely fantastic. Oop, one moment again, please. Okay, we are back once again. I couldn't get the, um, what do you call it? The newsletter off the bottom of the box. Okay, so our lovely Owl Crate newsletter. We have our interview with the author. We have the Owl Crate edition and the original edition. I think Owl Crate really outdid themselves on changing the cover. This one goes very much with the trend of books anymore. They all seem to look like this kind of style. This redesigned look is absolutely gorgeous and I really, really love it. Let's see, we have news from the Owl Nest. We have the interview with a vendor. And what else do we have? Ooh, Instagram photo challenge. That is really fun for those of you that like to take creative photos. Spotify playlists. I love these. They make the atmosphere of reading a book really, really fun. There's the Owl Babble that's coming up and then other books that are coming out this month and some of them look quite interesting. And now we have the spoiler for next month, which is da -da -da, Breaking the Curse. So that sounds really, really cool. And here we have one of the um, item creators that are um, doing one of the items next month. And spoiler, there are going to be items themed by The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is a really good book. Six Crimson Cranes, which I feel like we just had that in the last box or the box before. But I'm not complaining about that because that, again, is a really good book. Um, the Wrath and the Dawn, How to Kill a Kingdom, Howl's Moving Castle, which I am very excited about that, and Violet Made of Thorns, and the Treasured Tomes pin is going to be inspired by Spinning Silver, so that sounds like it's going to be a really good box, and I like anything involving um, curse breaking, and I cannot wait to see how Owl Crate will change the look of that book so I'm super excited for that so that being said uh, what was your favorite item leave a comment down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithm and if you are interested in checking out another video you can go ahead and click right here and if you are new welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again or be join my channel and help support me in these shenanigans and fun book unboxings. So thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you all later. Bye!